Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It is time to take communion, bless God. All right? So our morning reading this morning will be coming from Isaiah 60, verses 1 and 2. But of course, we're knowing this week, we're discussing it's time to wake up, bless God. All right? We discuss distractions and the purpose of distractions and that they come to take your eyes off of Jesus, to get you off course, to get you overly occupied and too busy, to provide you with excuses on why you're not doing what God has called you to do, all right? And again, as we shared on Monday, distractions come to rock you to sleep, my God. And time is going by and time is being wasted. And for you know it, my God, weeks and months and years are going by. You're not doing that which God has called you to do, all right? But it's time to wake up. It's time to get back focused, all right? It's time to get back where you belong and get back to doing what God has called you to do, all right? So what do you do when you find yourself asleep, my God, and distracted and going through the motions of life? He said you have to wake up. And he promises that if you wake up, he'll give you light, understanding, counsel, and direction. And even as we saw yesterday, he said he will set you back on the right path. All right. So this morning, let's read Isaiah 60 and verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness to people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Amen. Bless God. All right. God is calling for his people to wake up. My God. And arise. It's time to wake up. Bless God. His glory is rising in the earth, and he needs his people to wake up. Wake up. And he promises that his glory shall be seen upon your life. It shall be seen upon your marriage and your health your finances, your ministry, your business, my God. He said that darkness shall cover the earth, but the light of God's glory shall be seen in and upon your life, my God. I encourage you this morning here, wake up. Why? You don't want to miss out on what God is doing. Man, you've been praying, my God, and you've been sowing and, and confessing, and my God, to leaving. You don't want to miss out on what God is doing, being asleep, being distracted. Wake up, my God. You don't want to miss out on what God is doing in the earth in these last days. No, you want to be a partaker. And he tells us what? Wake up, arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising up in the earth, my God. And his glory shall be seen upon your life. I encourage you, be a partaker. Don't miss out. My God, wouldn't that be a horrible for people, my God, to, to miss out on what God is doing. No, you want to be all in. I want to be a part of everything he's doing. I want to be slap dad in the middle of it. My God, if God is doing it, I want to be there, bless God. And I know you do too. So I encourage you, wake up. No more distractions. Arise and shine for your light has come. Amen. Amen. Bless God. So let's go ahead and take your meal on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day. And another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you, Father. Oh, we love you. And we take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you did was for us. It was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, pains, weaknesses, infirmities, and with and by your stripes. We were healed. The chastisement for our peace, our complete wholeness was upon you, Lord Jesus. And for that, we say thank you. We love you, Lord Jesus. We acknowledge you right now. We discern your body and we honor you. And we take the bread right now and we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We take the cup right now. The cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, all sins forgiven. My Lord, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. We thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus. 
We honor you and we bless you. We take the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. We drink all of it. Saying thank you, Lord. So I encourage you, wake up. You don't want to miss out on what God is doing in these last days. Amen. Amen. All right. So let's get our in him confession in on this morning. I am who God says I am. I am in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God. I am forgiven. I am blameless. I am free. I am not guilty. I am accepted. I am loved. I am chosen. I am adopted. I am a child of God. I am whole. I am complete. I am healed. I am blessed. I am favored. I am increasing. I am cared for. I'm walking in authority. I am victorious. I am an overcomer. I am heaven bound. And talk to yourself. Self, I forgive you and I release you. Continue walking in the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. Father, I shout grace, grace to all that's watching right now. I thank you that the blessing is working, Father, for every household. Every need is met and full with abundance and more than enough. I shout grace, grace, Father, to all those who need healing, who need health, who need strength in their bodies and in their minds. Father, you are the Lord our God, a healer for us. We receive that healing. Lord Jesus, you healed them all and we thank you for it. And we speak peace to every household right now. Peace in their homes, Father, in their marriages. We thank you for unity, Father. And we give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, we love you guys. Thank you guys for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Lord willing, back tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.